All right, Coach Eider, we're here at Penn. Coach Eider, uh, interesting, you're a 1996 Olympian at uh, 48 kilos, correct? Yes. All right, a lot of people don't know. You have a really interesting, I guess, career leading up to that. Okay, you were always kind of that too small to wrestle 118 in college, and you're an Arizona State guy. And uh, you and Coach uh, Zeke Jones were roommates in college, correct? Uh, roommates, teammates, best friends. Yeah, yeah there you go. So, 20, 20 some years. <laughs> <laughs> so, a lot of people don't know what led up to that. You're from Illinois, okay? And, you know, talk about it basically from there, you know, where your career, how your career even took you to Arizona State from Illinois. Well, um, it, it was, uh, we, I grew up in Chicago, uh, just a northwest suburb, small, uh, went to a small high school. I was a state qualifier uh, my senior year. And to be honest with you, I, I wasn't planning on wrestling past, past that. Um, and then I graduated. My folks and family moved out to Phoenix. And so I just went to school at ASU. And uh, to be honest with you, I ran into a couple of kid, uh, guys that were wrestling for the team when I was out there in school. And they kind of told me, why don't you come out for the team? And that's just really how it started. Um, were you serious or, or, yeah. or first? Or was it something where you're kind of on the fence and then you're like, you know what? And one day you woke up and you're like, hey, maybe I'll go to practice. Today. Well, exactly. I mean, it was one of those things where I, I ran into the guys originally, like the first two weeks of school, let's say. And, um, yeah, hey, you should come out for the team, you know, this and that. And uh, I was ranked in state in Illinois, and I got upset, uh, I think, my second round. So I, I still felt I should have done better my senior year. So I still had a little bit of a drive in there, uh, some unfinished business. But... Um, you know, I, again, at Arizona State, uh, took a couple weeks later, ran into this uh, couple more guys again, and then they, uh, honestly, they literally were walking to practice, and they said, why don't you just come and watch practice? And that's kind of how it how That's it a great story, because, like, now your whole life is pretty much since that point, you've been involved with wrestling as a livelihood, you know, getting through college and yeah. pretty much everything. So, okay, you're Arizona, Arizona State, and you're kind of too small for 118. Mm -hmm. Coach Douglas, is, Bobby Douglas is your head coach. What's Bobby Douglas say to you at that point? Well, he he looked at me, and he just, you know, my mom is, is five foot on a good day. Um, you know, so Bobby looked at me. I got uh, size six and a half shoes, small hands. He's very analytical when he, you know, kind of looks at people. And, and he just said, listen, son, your, 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 your career is going to be in freestyle. Um, you know, I want you to concentrate on freestyle. Lowest weight class is 48 kilos. And, um, you know, we'll, we got the Sunkiss kids here, and, and we'll get you there. And my only concern was I said, Coach, I've never wrestled freestyle before. Um, didn't wrestle it in high school. Uh, I only started wrestling in seventh grade. And it was just a, you know, typical three-month sport for me. Um, so I never did any of the summer programs or anything like that through high school. And uh, Coach basically said, don't worry about it. You know, we'll, we'll get you there. We have other resources and things like that. So, um, fortunately for me, I had success a little bit early, uh, going to tournaments, and you know I was winning some matches. So it kind of kept me going in the freestyle, and I got more into it, more into it, more into it. And uh, by 1990, uh, I won the U.S. Open, my first national title. So. And how many years up four. until that point were four. you wrestling freestyle? Four. It was your fourth year of freestyle, and you won the U.S. Open. Yeah. Not too bad. And I was actually the year before in '89. I made uh, I made the ladder, the the U.S. national team. So it was top three guys in the weight class. So I was I was number three at the time in '89. So within three years, um, you know, I, I was able to to do pretty well. Okay, so kind of fast forward to '92. You don't make the team. You don't make the Olympic team. Okay, uh, Tim Vanny beat you out, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so at what point? What what? direction does your life take then are you just like oh man i've only kind of been doing this for five years at this point do you stick around or you know what's what's your uh, your life course take at that point? well and, and uh it was, it was kind of funny again another little twist um i i, I was 24 you know i said ah, i think i'm i think i'm done you know i i did well you know it was exciting and everything and and uh i was at my house in phoenix in my parents house in phoenix and the phone rang and it was um USA Wrestling, they wanted to bring me to the to the Olympics, the 92 Olympics, as a training partner and an alternate. Um, you know, at the time it was uh, Tim Vanny, uh, who was my, really my personal coach and mentor. He really is the one that, that took me under his wing and, and really got me uh, up to where I was in freestyle. 
Uh, Tim was at 48 kilos, and then Zeke was at 52 kilos, and um, the three of us all trained together. So we're real, real familiar with each other. Um, so they asked me to come over and be a training partner. Um, and to me, I, yeah, that'd be great. You know, go watch the Olympics, go to Barcelona, watch the Olympics. and uh, Maybe get in there. Uh, well, I mean, you know, you, don't, you never want somebody to get hurt, you know. Uh, but you were ready. I was ready. I, it, or I prepared as best I could to get ready. And, and, uh, and, and sure enough, I tell you, the first time I stepped in that gym, when, when they started wrestling and all the fans were waving flags and, you know, you're sitting with the American uh, contingency, it was just, I came back, I said, I, I got to do this. You know, so I, I rededicated my, it's a four-year commitment, you know, so I rededicated myself for the next four years. And my, my concern was to, to seek out the best training partners and environment that I can set myself in. And it's hard for a little guy, 48 kilos, to find good training partners. Uh, and after 92, um, you know, Tim Vandy retired. Uh, that was his second Olympics. Um, he was in the 88 Olympics too. Um, you know, Zeke had, I think, uh, uh, was going to start coaching at Arizona State. Um, so I ended up moving out to uh, Clarion. Uh, and uh, there's a guy by the name of Sheldon Thomas that was uh, a little guy as well. Um, but he was a freshman at, at Clarion. So it was a good mix for me uh, to go out to Clarion because I had Sheldon to train with. But it was also a, a coaching position to where I was kind of trying to set myself up for once I'm done competing to maybe take that as a career uh, into the coaching field. So uh, I ended up moving out there, and then uh, yeah. Sheldon won the Sheldon won the NCAA title in '96, uh, and then I made the team three months later, two months later. Uh, talk about you know '96 Olympics. After that, did you feel you were done then after that '96 Olympics? Uh, Again, another crossroads. Uh, now I'm 28, uh, <laughs> a little bit older. Uh, weight started being a factor for me, uh, but really, they Fila really made the decision for me because I think they changed the weight classes. That was the year they changed the weight classes, uh, so they went from 48 kilos to I believe 55, which is just way uh, too big. Way too big. Um, you know, you're talking about guys from 140 pounds dropping down. I I, I was 120. Three at the most. So, um, are you much bigger now? <laughs> about 125. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so at that point, your career, you go and you you go back to Chicago, right? Mm -hmm. After Claren, mm -hmm. yeah, and then you were uh, kind of were out of wrestling for a little bit. Uh, well, no, I you know again after I retired in '96, I, I, I coached at Claren for one more year, um, and my father uh, owned owned a business in Chicago, and again another my third crossroads kind of uh, situation for me. Um, I had to make a decision, do I want to continue on with coaching? Um, I was in a small college town. Um, I went from Chicago to Phoenix to Clarion. Um, I just, I wanted to get back. I wanted to, my family's from uh, Chicago, so my dad offered me a position in his company. And uh, I took it with the understanding that I still wanted to be involved in wrestling, whether it was at the high school level or college level. And Fortunately for me, I knew everybody at Northwestern, um, and when I moved back to town, I called them and asked them if I could you know, come in and if there's any position for me where I can just help help the program. And uh, the company that my father has, um, a little bit of a seasonal uh, company, is construction. Um, so it kind of it worked out well. We're obviously, we're real busy in the summer, but kind of work slowed down a little bit in the winter time, and that's when Northwestern and wrestling you know picks up. So. Um, I was able to kind of balance the two, and you know, next thing you know, I'm I'm heading over to the wrestling room a lot more than I than I had planned to. <laughs> you know, I come attached to some of the kids on the team, and I uh, want to see them succeed, and you know, I teach them and help them, and keeps drawing you back in. So, okay, you're not even 12 months into this job technically yet. You got hired last year in November. Mm -hmm. Kind of fast forward through your Northwestern experience to come in here into Philadelphia. What 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 went into that process to come in here? Well, uh, again, working for my dad for roughly about eight, nine years, um, I told my dad I, I, I didn't think I wanted to do this as a, as a career. Um, and I asked him if it was okay if I started looking for uh, coaching positions because that's what I wanted to do. And uh, I said, yeah, you got to do what you want to do. So, um, again, Zeke and I being, being close and college training partners and roommates, uh, when this position became available here, um, he called me up and uh, offered it to me and my wife is actually from uh, New Jersey uh, 
down in Ocean City. And uh, I always tell the story. Her, her bags were packed, whether I was coming or not. <laughs> whether I was coming or not, it didn't matter, but her bags were packed. So, um, but we, Zeke and I obviously knew each other very well. And, and uh, you know, it was, a, it was a easy, as easy a transition as it could be. Um, I wasn't coming in blind, not knowing the, the coaching staff or the kids on the team. And being at Northwestern, I'd recruited some of these kids that are wrestling for Penn, so I already had a little bit of a relationship with those kids. So, um, and everything everything worked out. All right, that's that's why you're here to Penn now, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty interesting journey, coach. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it, it was interesting, that's for sure. <laughs>